Okay, hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you the new uh, Unity update man, uh, update manager, and basically it's a whole lot better. Uh, I removed the thing, but it tells you a lot of info. Um, now it just uh, says my name, and you can see your settings, boot settings, obviously like before. You can check for updates now. So if I could check for updates, you're like you are up to date. If it if you're not up to date, it will give you a link to the video where uh, you can get the latest. Uh, if you click on my channel, it'll to my channel. So, uh, and I added positive uh, and negative buttons. So you can pick positive and negative button. This is the positive button. And this is the negative button. Or you can pick the mouse x axis invert that actually works now and dead that works too and mouse y also uh, joystick x and joystick y is actually uh, I'm still working on that so it's not finished but mouse mouse y and positive negative button does work and just to show you this actually like I'm going to disable this and I'm going to drag in my input sample which I'm not giving away by the way so keep in mind that uh, uh, do uh, load all the settings um, as soon as the game starts because everything goes uh, back to default you can see I'm doing input manager dot load settings that's you load the settings you can also do input manager dot save settings so private void update oops And I have no idea why this is got an error there. Let me get it. Hopefully, it should set. Okay. To me, it actually doesn't really have anything else besides that. Obviously, you can change the buttons. You can change anything else you want with it. All you need to do is instead of typing in, you type in input function, and then you can do dot get access for accesses and then you can do dot get button get button up get button down you know all the normal functions uh in that are in, in the input so all of those are for this and obviously if you have the request or you want me to add something to this then let me know and i will do my best to add to it so input manager there it is and then dot and there you go Access length, uh, you shouldn't actually uh, touch that. Uh, access names, you shouldn't uh, touch that either. Sorry about this, but uh, well, you can touch it if you want to, you know, it's your choice. So, access names, and then you can do uh, like zero, and then oops, zero, zero. Now, uh, you'll be editing this name vertical you'll be in that so you can do I won't re really recommend it so anyways you can do uh, you can do access type or it actually says x type so you can do why I'm typing C is I made it into a loop in like this like uh, you see a lot so I'm kind of used to that now equals to and it's even there to manage a docket access type dot and you can choose you can manage setting so it's set there. Okay, now enough of that. What I wanted to show you was access get access and the string name. And we're going to be printing this out. Print. And vertical. I think I spelled it right. So now let's minimize this. And let's choose the mouse Y because that's up and down. Okay, save. And actually, the 9 million views that is now ignore the horizontal. Save it. Oops. Uh, mouse Y. Save. That's the reason why you should do save. Now you can just like muck about with it and then code and then it'll load again. And obviously, when you play it, if it changes back to normal, it'll load again because sometimes it's got a funny habit of load these things again okay now at the bottom you can see the where it says zero and it's now changing 
if I go up, it's actually negative. You can actually change that. We'll, uh, we'll actually do invert. So let's see, window, close, invert. If I can click it, invert. I will save this. Um, close this. Okay. Now as it goes down, it's negative, and we if we do it up, it's positive. Uh, by the way, you might actually experience a lag when displaying it there because uh, obviously it can't really like uh, display a lot of stuff here really fast. So if I look here, the frame rate might have dropped. But who knows? Okay, but yeah, you will experience some lag. So create open log editor. I actually did not know we could do that. Open log. Let's figure that. Out. So, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.